ironic, isn't it? That if you want to demonstrate for peace, you also have to employ some of the traditional virtues and qualities of war. It's a great crowd of people with their banners and flags, their unshatterable unsha feeling of right wars. It's all rather reminiscent of the old days when war was respectable, almost fun even, before gas, barbed wire, bombs spoilt it forever. These people have already had their exhortation and briefing at the Treasury Gardens. And although they'd probably object to being called warriors, they are, in their own special way, going over the top. a particularly militaristic occasion at the moment. It's more like a picnic ramble. Excuse me, can I ask you why you're here? Just to see that it's carried out orderly and just see what the young ones have got in mind. Do you support the moratorium? Yeah. I'm here because there's a moratorium going on and I don't believe in it and I want to show my disapproval when it comes by. It's the only reason. I'd march but I wouldn't be game enough really. Well, a pretty motley a collection of people. Um, in fact, it's pretty hard to describe it, really. You can see uh, one or two fine examples of the shock troops of the new left, members of the veterans of the old left. And right behind me here, a lot of people who've never demonstrated before. And one wonders how they're feeling at the moment. Perhaps a, a bit like troops going into battle for the first time, wondering how they're going to react to their first taste of, or whiff of, what could it be in this context? Certainly not grape shot, at least one hopes not. He hasn't an arm, he hasn't a leg, the limb, the sight, the spine, the leg. Why can't he pulse and make jolly a heart in you? The stated aim of the organisers was to get the people to occupy the streets of Melbourne. But it certainly seems as though they've succeeded. There seems to be a bit of a problem here because another march of unionists coming from the opposite direction has now met the march coming from the Treasury Gardens. This is it. We can't quite get to the intersection of, uh, of um, Burke Street with Elizabeth Street, where the sit-down was supposed to take place. Instead, everyone's trying to sit down here. And this is the point where you actually make your commitment. You can either opt out by remaining standing or keep walking, or you can support the moratorium by supporting your backside on the rather cold tarmac. It's quite interesting to see, too, the number of people who are sitting and those that remain standing. Presumably the standing people are either members of the press or interested, curious onlookers who aren't particularly concerned about the Vietnam War one way or the other. I suppose if the choice is either you stand and reject the idea of the moratorium or you sit and support it, then as we're supposed to be strictly neutral, I should be crouching at this very moment. I don't care what the I'm majority of people. Have mate. a look at the hundred thousand sitting mates down. Have a look at the five hundred thousand. Some of my mates were shot in Vietnam, mate. You reckon that's funny, do you? Not you're in there. You're bloody yeah. Tom Hanks and for doing that. Do you, you couldn't see a bigger okay. clown in the circus than what him. Yeah. What about the check? Only the Vietnamese people suffer. Why none of you people got one placard? Freedom for the checks.